Hi class, uh, ses second session of the week this week, and uh, you'll notice that I have some accessories today. Um, so what I'm gonna ask you to do, if you have the equipment, uh, is to grab a band, a resistance band, and that's what this is. So if you have a band, an exercise resistant band, it can be a, a tube, like tubing, um, something stretchy, okay? This is what my band looks like. It's an actual exercise stretchy band um, that's not going to break, so it's relatively new. If you have something like this, I want you to go get it, okay? You can pause the video and then come back, okay? Uh, if you don't have a stretchy band, which I will be working with, you can grab a scarf. So any scarf will do as long as it's long enough that when you reach your arms all the way out, it goes the entire length, okay? So we're gonna be using the band behind our back as well as in front. And so you just wanna be able to hold it without bending your elbows, okay? If you have a scarf, go grab it. Pause the video, go grab it. Um, and then we're gonna just have some fun with a resistance band or a scarf today, okay? So go ahead and do that, and then when you start the video, I'm gonna go ahead and start what we're doing with our warm-up. All right. All right, so here we go. We're gonna start our warm-up. Obviously, I am using my band, and so I thought I would use the scarf as an accessory today, so. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with chest expansion. Nice, easy warm-up. We will not be using our band or our scarf in our warm-up until we get down to our leg circles. And even when we do the leg circles, if your scarf is not long enough, um, you may not be able to use it for the leg circles. But if you have a nice stretchy band, you'll be able to use it. And I'll explain how we do that, okay? So this is the second session of the week, which means because it's assessment week, our final assessment, split arms, we have one more workout, one more session, and then we'll have our final self-assessment uh, for Thursday or for the fourth day, okay? Uh, tomorrow's workout, let's go ahead and come down for cat and cow. We're gonna have equipment as well. Cat and cow. We're gonna use a ball. So it doesn't have to be a weighted ball, but I'm going to show uh, an example of two balls that you can use for tomorrow's workout um, at the end of this class, okay? Actually, probably not. I'll just show it to you at the beginning of next class. Um, but just to give you an idea, a small uh, weighted ball if you have one that fits in your hand so just you know hand um, size or a ball that is about medium size and doesn't have to be weighted okay dynamic I actually think I can show you what that ball at least the medium size ball looks like It's just a small rubber ball. So maybe you have uh, one of those little bouncy rubber balls. Let me show you real quick. Um, that you play with your kids if you have kids or whatever. But uh, this is the medium ball that I'm talking about, okay? It's just a Pilates ball, but any kind of rubber ball will do, okay? All right, come on over to a seated position. We're gonna come on down for our 100. Remember, we're flipping our arms over every five pumps. Go ahead and bring your legs with you. Head and shoulders up. Lower those legs and go ahead and begin.
and done. If you have a band, grab your band. The leg circles, we are going to loop our band around the arch of our foot. So just remember, if just be very careful. You don't want to pull too hard. So if you have an old band, we just really don't want to risk it snapping, okay, and breaking and flying in our face. Um, so we're just adding a little bit of resistance. So I looped my band and I'm gathering it in one hand. And I'm again, opening my hip, slight bend of the knee, and I'm just keeping my arm static with my elbow on the floor and I'm just circling. Okay, so I'm creating some resistance, slightly pulling with my hand if I need more resistance. We're gonna stay in the same size circle. And now we're gonna reverse. So you might even be able to do that with the scarf, honestly, if you have a long enough scarf. The scarf will probably work, unless you have really long legs and really short arms, I suppose. <laughs> All right, switch legs. Again, gather one hand, bring your elbow down, slight bend of the knee, open hip, and just go ahead and start circling, and you're kind of gently pulling on the band just to create some resistance. This is nice to have if you really want to assist. Oh my gosh, look what happened. <laughs> you want to assist? Oh, wow, what happened? just happened that I was talking about. Perfect example, right? Uh, we're just, this is great for the circles because we're assisting the circle. So we're in, assisting this range of motion. Uh, and sometimes we need a little bit of assistance, right? Make sure you reverse the circle. I am going to use my scarf, thank goodness. This is almost a brand new band. All right, so when you're done with your circles, come on down, head down. Wow, that was interesting. Okay, so I didn't expect that to happen. I'm a little bit surprised right now. Okay, so we're gonna go through our traditional exercises, but we're adding the band or we're adding the scarf. And so there's nothing really changing at all. I have one new exercise today um, <clears throat> without a band or um, scarf, but uh, all we're doing is the same exercise except we're using the band or the scarf with resistance for our arms. So it really is an added bonus arm workout, okay? So our single leg stretch, go ahead and bring your knees in. So the legs are going to do the work by themselves, okay? And I'm going to bring my knee in and extend my leg. And I'm just reaching back behind me pulling on the scarf nice and wide and I'm just pressing back so it's an isometric move and my legs are doing the work. So notice I'm just holding, I'm pulling my hands away from each other creating some resistance. If you don't have the band or the mat or the scarf, of course you're not doing it. You're just doing your traditional single leg. All right, go ahead and bring your hands down, or your feet down, and then your head down. All right, so double leg, we traditionally reach back and then we sweep around. And with the band or the scarf, I'm just gonna say scarf because I'm using a scarf. Um, I'm basically going to hold my scarf in one position, static position, but I'm using my arms to reach forward and back. So we're not doing the arm sweep, okay? So I'm gonna hold my hands right about a foot apart, okay? Bring my knees in, head and shoulders up. I'm gonna bring my band or my scarf, sorry, my scarf above, I'm used to using a band. I'm going to reach back with my scarf and extend my legs and pull forward. Creating resistance, again, we're pulling the hands away from each other Breathing, of course. One more. And down. Good. Uh, same thing applies to crisscross. So we can use this scarf 
to create resistance by pulling the hands apart, but now we're going to rotate, right? Rotate our trunk across to each bent knee. And so we're just adding that resistance, to, which is adding to our torque or our twisting, right? So knees are in, head and shoulders up. I'm gonna go ahead and shorten the distance and I'm just keeping it right in front of my eyes, eye level, and I'm just pulling hands apart and rotating slowly. Good, and rest. Nice. Okay, so single straight. We are going to actually rotate our arms with single straight. So I'm holding again a nice wide position of my scarf. I'm still going to pull hands away, but now when I reach back, I'm not just going to hold it, but I'm going to rotate. So one arm drops lower and reaches up higher than the other one. Does that make sense? Okay, so go ahead and bring both legs up, head and shoulders up. So I'm going to drop one leg and I'm going to drop that same arm on that same side back behind me. Other leg, rotate, rotate. So it's as if you're holding on to the leg, which you could, and then you're pulling on the scarf. Make sense? You can assist yourself or just rotate. and rest. Okay, and then double straight, we can use this scarf. We can loop it around our hands, right? We can just kind of wrap it around our hands to shorten the distance. I'm gonna do push-ups or press-ups when I go through the movement with my double straight. So legs are all the way up, head and shoulders are up. And I'm going to hold my scarf right in above my chest with my elbows out. When I drop my legs, I'm going to press up, pull down. So again, creating resistance, I'm pulling my hands away from each other, breathing, pressing straight up. And down. Nice. All right, so we're going to do some shoulder bridge exercise. And what I want you to do is I want you to bring the scarf behind your back. If it's long enough, you should be able to do this, okay? So mine is barely long enough. My band was, but my scarf is just barely long enough, okay? And what's going to happen is I'm going to bring my arms out from my sides and up when I lift my hips. So make sure that you can do that. If you can't, no big deal. Just put your arms out to your sides and you're not going to use the scarf or the band. All right. Here we go. We're lifting our hips and pulling up. So you want that scarf or band to go across the, sh the right below the shoulder blades. So it doesn't come slipping out from up above behind your neck. So again, creating resistance. We'll go one more. Just a bonus arm work here. Good. All right, we have a roll up. So with or without the band, it's up to you. I'm gonna use the band. I'm gonna loop it around my hands. I'm using my scarf, I'm gonna pull my scarf back behind and I'm just going to create a little resistance and I'm gonna roll up. Just your traditional roll up.
And we'll go one more and finish at the top. Good. All right, seated position. A spine twist. We can add resistance on spine twist. We're gonna just keep this scarf out in front, sitting up tall as normal, as usual. I'm gonna hold my scarf out in a V position with my arms, okay? So it's a wide position. And I'm twisting and maintaining, and I'm gonna press that back arm behind me and hold against that pole with the other arm. So again, just increasing that range of motion Increasing that stretch by pulling and holding. Maintain posture. Breathe. I still can't believe my band just snapped. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is what not to do. <laughs> Let me use myself as an example. Oh my gosh, how funny. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put our scarf down at our sides. Uh, we have open leg rocker, so if you wanna go ahead and layer your mat, you can at this point. So open leg rocker, again, is that V position of the leg. So we go from bent leg rocker to open leg rocker if you can. We're collapsing the spine, rolling back, and rolling up, and sticking it at the top. Here we go. One more. rocker. I feel like my lower back is really releasing on that exercise. Okay, so I'm going to challenge you on a new exercise and you're going to automatically know early in this exercise whether or not you can do this, okay? And if you cannot, all you're going to practice is that double straight leg lowering and lifting, okay? Because we're still, you know, calling upon um, most of our lower regional abdominals, but our hips as well. And so don't get frustrated if you can't do this. This is the first time we've done it. We're going to try it. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and put my hands at my sides. This is called roll over. Um, it's very dynamic. Uh, our legs are going to come over our trunk. We're going to start in a seated position because this tends to be a little bit easier of a learning experience because there is more momentum um, relied upon in this position. So we just want to make sure that we maintain our scooped position, okay? And we're really trying to create a flow of this exercise. So it's strength-driven, uh, it's momentum-driven, and it's flow-driven, which is really kind of you know, similar to the momentum. Um, but we don't want to sacrifice form, so watch me. I'm going to put my hands at my hips, right outside my hips. I am going to collapse my spine, and I'm coming down in the scooped position, and as I start to come down, my legs are going to lift up, and I'm going to press my arms down and pull my legs up and over, okay? Now, I'm using my arms as leverage here. Staying scooped, staying rounded. I'm gonna lower my hips down, bring my legs towards me, my trunk. Using my arms slowly, lower my hips and start to bring my trunk up when my leg, leg, legs come forward. Okay, so watch me in real time. So let's see if we can do this, okay? Go ahead and try. If not, I do not want you doing this. 
if you cannot practice, perform it one time. This is definitely second level. Up and over. If it causes too much strain, you do not do it. Okay. All right. So that's called rollover. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go ahead and, yep, grab our band, grab our scarf. Okay, so we have seated rollbacks to the side with the band. So go ahead and bend your knees. We are again going to collapse our spine and lean back like a rollback, right? And then we're going to open with our scarf in front, okay? So go ahead and loop your hands with your scarf, arms extended. Collapse your spine. We're going to lean back and rotate, keeping our scarf in front. Come forward, lean back, and rotate to the other side. So we're just opening up as we lean back. Create resistance by pulling the hands away from each other. One more. Good. Extend your legs. Front stretch with the scarf. Go ahead and put your scarf down. So we're going to lean back on our hands. Bring both legs with you all the way up. Back is flat. So from here, I'm going to bend my knees, keeping my knees and my feet together. I'm going to clam position, which means I open my knees, keeping my feet together. Close my knees. Extend my legs out parallel to the floor and lift up to start. Here we go. Bend, clam, extend, lift. Bend, clam, extend, lift. Bend, clam, extend, lift. One more. Bend, clam, extend, and lift. Bring your legs forward. And then we have saw with the band. So. Go ahead and split your legs. I'm going to bring the scarf behind my back, my shoulders. Remember, I'm going to extend my arms all the way out. Saw. We're going to rotate. We're going to lean, lift, and rotate. Pulling on the hands, creating resistance. Or not. It's up to you. One more. Good. All right. We are going to go into knee hug before we turn over. Uh, we're going to try practicing locust with the band behind our back. So remember with locust, our arms are outstretched at our sides, and then we're just arching and reaching back with our arms. We're going to try holding on to that band or that scarf and just resisting with the band behind us. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and bring the band with us going down to our tummies. I'm just going to bring it back behind me, holding on right outside my legs or my hips with the band, correct? 
holding on here. You can also loop if you want to add resistance. Just loop it around your hands. And we're going to lift up and press out away, hands away from each other and down. When you lift up, exhale. Inhale on the way down. Up. Up. Down. Up. And down. One more time. Go ahead and put your scarf out to your side, hands outside your chest, modified push-up into low back stretch. Here we go, up and back. Come up. Just into a push-up, nice and easy, not all the way down and back. Just warming up. One more. Good. All right. Table position. So um, we can do this with a band. I'm not so sure we can do it with a scarf. Let me check real quick here. Okay. Yeah, we can. So what we want to test first is, okay, so I'm going to put my scarf, do this with me. I'm going to put my scarf under the, towards the very end, I'm going to put it under my knee, my right knee, okay? I want to make sure I'm pressing down on that scarf. Now, when I extend my arm all the way out, my right arm with my right knee down, I want to see if I can reach all the way up. So that's the test. Okay, so if you can't, if you get to here, it just means you need to come back on your scarf to give me more length of scarf, okay? With the band, it really doesn't matter. But with the scarf, you gotta make sure you can reach all the way up. All right, so I am going to dog kick with my scarf. So that just simply means when I extend my scarf, I wanna have a little resistance, and I'm gonna extend my left leg. So we're gonna start in and out. So you can adjust it as you go. You just want a little resistance on the arm. Again, the band is better, but the scarf will do. One more. Good. All right, switch the scarf to the left knee. Test it out and go ahead and begin. Again, focus on your balance. This is our last one, good. All right, come up to kneeling tall with your band. So, this can be called kneeling side, kneeling mermaid, or a half moon with the band. So I'm going to loop my scarf around my hands. So shh, more narrow hand position here. <clears throat> Just like our kneeling mermaid, except now my scarf is above my head. Okay? And I'm just simply dipping to one side, keeping my arms straight up top over to the other side. So when you pull down with that lead arm, you're going to feel that big stretch through that side there. So it's a nice assisted stretch of the side.
go one more on each side. And then we're going to go into push-up leg pull down. Go ahead and bring your scarf down. This is the final time we do this before our assessment, so we will not be doing push-up leg pull down tomorrow. All right, here we go. Low back stretch, bring your arms back. <clears throat> Good. Okay. So we're not using our band or our scarf now. So we're gonna go into those kneeling side leg lifts again. <clears throat> so remember how you get into that position, right? We're gonna go ahead and bring our hands out in front, walk our hands around, extend that opposite leg, hand on hip. From here, I'm gonna lift my leg, I'm gonna pull my knee in, Extend my leg out, lower my leg, okay? <clears throat> Here we go. Up, in, out, down. Up, in, out, down. Up, down. All right, we are going to come on down. No, let's go to the other side first. I think it's easier to go this way. And we'll do the other exercise after. Hand on hip. Here we go. Up, in, out, down. Up, in, All right, hand down, leg in, come over to center. We're gonna bring our hips down, stay on that same side, onto our elbow now, okay? Upper leg is going to be extended, lower leg stays bent. I'm gonna lift my hips up off the mat. My arm is outstretched up above, okay? From here, I am just simply rotating forward and touching my hand down and then lifting up. So it's mostly trunk work. <sighs> Breathing. One more. And bring your hips down, arm down. We're going to do that again. <sighs> Here we go. Hips up, arm up. Rotate, oh. rotate, over, oh. and over. Oh, hips down. All right, we're going to switch to the other side. Bottom leg bent, upper leg straight, arm up, and rotate. Again, it's just the arm rotating. My hips don't come back, they stay, they stay stable. Everything is the same position. We're just rotating the arm, which is really the upper chest, right? Shoulders. One more. Hips down.
one more time. Here we go. Up. Up. One, two. To knee hug. <clears throat> Release your back. We're going to come down to our backs. Start again at the beginning. It's really up to you whether or not you want to use the band or the scarf again in a second. I think it would be great if you could, right, to challenge yourself. So I'll go ahead and continue to use mine. But if you really feel like that was too much strain on your arms, shoulders, or even your neck, I get it. Just go ahead and put it down and we'll just practice our traditional, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab their scarf. We're gonna come on down, go right into single leg. Remember, this is a static hold. So we're just warming up, extending and holding. Here we go. Pulling the hands away. We're going to turn this into double leg. Ready? Both knees in, hands forward, reach back. Feet down, head down, arms down. Good. All right, so crisscross, a little narrower of a grip. Remember, we're going to rotate while we're pulling. All right, we'll do this solo. Knees in, head and shoulders up, and go ahead and begin. Solo meaning we're not going to layer or link another exercise to this. one each side and rest good all right so single straight double straight we're going to link these together remember single straight with the scarf of the band we are reaching back and just simply rotating remember this rotating the scarf behind our head and then double straight we come out in front and so narrow and we're doing our push-ups or our press-ups Okay, all right, wide grip, legs all the way up, head and shoulders up, single straight. So we drop, so it's as if I'm gonna grab onto my leg, which you can, and rotate. Hold the scarf though, we wanna create resistance with the arms. more. Both legs all the way up. Narrow your grip. Arms down. We're going to push up as we pull the legs down. One more. behind your back underneath the shoulder blades we have shoulder bridge here we go out wide up and down arms are out wide pulling up and down So these wide poles are really good for that upper chest, upper back. And of course, the 
Hands front deltoids. Good. All right. <clears throat> if you'd like, you can use your scarf for your roll up. And if you want to, there we go, behind our head. And we're rolling up. We'll go one more and we'll sit up at the top and keep the scarf in front for spine twist. Okay. All right, legs together. Hair is crazy right now. Nice and wide. Here we go. Twist, pull. Back to center. Twist, pull. Good. All right, band or scarf down. We have open leg rocker. If you want to layer your mat, you can. So it's either open or bent leg rocker. Here we go. Should have a blooper reel put together when my feet hit the wall, <laughs> when I bust bands. I don't know if I've done anything else blooperish. One more. Good. All right. Sitting up tall, legs together. We're going to practice that rollover exercise if you can. Otherwise, you're just doing some double leg lifting. <clears throat> All right. Hands outside your hips. Collapse the spine. Start to roll back. Lift your legs up. And over, using your arms as leverage, drop the hips, and come forward. Stay scooped. One more. All right, grab your scarf again. We have our seated rollbacks with that side opening, right? <clears throat> All right, narrow, collapse. We're gonna lean back and open. Come forward, lean back, open. more on each side. Last one here. And sit up tall. Keep your band here, scarf here, front stretch, legs together. more. Good. All right, scarf or band down. 
We're gonna lean back, bring both legs up. Here we go, we're bending. We're going into clam here, extending and lifting. Bend, clam, extend and lift. One more. Good. Come forward. We have saw with or without the band scarf if you want. Behind their back. Here we go. Pulse at the bottom. One more on each side. Good. All right. Knee hug before we turn over. We will bring our scarf down with us for locust if you'd like. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead, come on over. Okay, so we wanna make sure that our hands are the same width on our scarf as right outside our legs or our hips, okay? And we are lifting up and reaching back and pulling on the scarf. Last one. Good. All right, scarf down, hands outside your chest, modified push up into low back stretch. Be our last one. Table position. All right, no scarf this time for dog kicks. Because we're going to alternate between the two. Okay? All right, right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. Keep your trunk as still as possible. One more on each side. Good. Grab your scarf, half moon. One more each side. Good. All right, scarf down, push up, leg pull down.
low back stretch. Oh, well earned. All right, so we have those kneeling side leg lifts. <clears throat> Go ahead and get in your position. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Lift up, pull in, extend out, come down. Up, in. down, leg in, walk around, extend out, hand on hip, here we go, up, in, out, up, And down, leg in, hips down, on your elbow, <clears throat> top leg extended, all right, here we go, hips up, arm up, rotate. All right, we're going to go to the other side. No second set. Arms are a little tired. Bottom leg bent. Top leg straight. Arm on hip. Here we go. Up. Rotate. Last one. Good. Hips down. Go ahead and come into knee hug position. Or seated accordions. Yeah, I only wanted to do one set of those because I want to save some energy for our final arm exercises. <laughs> So if you want some great arm resistance exercises just to add maybe to, you know, your other routines or workouts, you know, dumbbells are not the only thing that you need to use. Um, quite honestly, resistance bands are great. It's a resistance band, right? We're creating resistance. So um, you can do these exercises with a band. Um, the, the band is going to be more flexible, right? And so it's a lot easier to do that for these exercises um, than with a scarf. But we're going to try it with a scarf. So I have this sort of V position of my arms, a wide folding position of the scarf. And I'm right about chest height here. And I'm simply pulling my elbows back, okay, and bringing the scarf to the front and extending. So I'm pulling the scarf with both hands as well as pulling the elbows. I'm getting a great upper back exercise workout here. I'm using my big biceps to pull. I'm using my shoulders to keep my arms up. Posture and I'm pulling. Good. Rest. Rest. 
twist your back. And we're gonna go the opposite way. So we're going to bring it behind our back. And you can do this with a band much easier, of course. But you're just going to pull forward. Squeeze back, pull forward. I can feel it, that's for sure. Good. All right, knee hug. Legs extended, front stretch, one arm across. Sit up one leg across. So don't be surprised, pull it in, if your shoulders ache a little bit tomorrow or your neck a little bit more than usual tomorrow. And that's just that bonus holding position, right? Switch legs. You're not used to it, it's different. It's always good to keep your muscles surprised. Change it up a little bit. It's also good for your, your mind to be creative. All right, you guys, we are done. So again, just a reminder, uh, tomorrow we're gonna use a ball. So I also have a small weighted ball, but this is just a, like a rubber ball, right? Um, I'm gonna be able to grab it with my hands. I'm gonna be able to press on it without it popping <laughs> um, to create resistance here. I'm gonna be able to hold it between my knees without it popping. Um, just something that's pretty much relatively about the size of maybe a volleyball and smaller. I do have like a weighted ball and it's more of a hand um, a size and it just has a slight amount of weight. It's like two pounds, I think. And it's filled with sand and I can hold on to it with one hand. I can squeeze it with two hands. I can put it still between my knees, right? When you do some bridging and some um, inner hip strengthening, um, inner thigh strengthening. So if you have anything like that for tomorrow's workout, you know, look around your house. Do not go out and buy anything unless you really think that you're going to use it, you know, for the future. Um, but honestly, you know, what we're going to do tomorrow, you know, you don't have to use a ball. But that is it. So good job today, and I will see you next time.